Something that we mentioned, but really needs serious emphasis, is the fact that fragments of molecules can rotate around carbon-carbon single bonds. And what that means is that molecules can adopt different shapes or different conformations without having to break any bonds, without having to move any atoms around and so on. Now conformations are different from isomers. Isomers are two different molecules. You cannot turn one into the other without breaking bonds. Conformations are just the same molecule in different shapes thanks to rotation around carbon-carbon single bonds. So what I'm going to do in this movie is I'm going to just look at a couple of simple little examples and then in the two following movies in this particular section we'll look at specific molecules, first of all ethane and then butane. All the way through though, what we're looking at here, different conformations, different structures of the same molecule achieved by rotation about carbon-carbon single bonds. So we'll start off with this nice easy one, that's pentane. That too is pentane. They look very different, don't they? They're both the same molecule, if you count the number of carbons in the chain, five carbons, but they are different conformations. Now here's a little movie, I hope if it works this time, that will show you turning the bottom one into the top one simply by rotating around carbon-carbon single bonds. So let's see if I can get the little play button up. There we are. So you're taking the bottom movie, rotation, rotation, turn it round, and there you go. They're the same molecules. Obviously they're the same molecules. We could look at the structures and name them and see they're the same molecules. They were just different conformations, and I can turn one into the other by just rotating around a carbon-carbon single bond. Another one that sort of came up in form last week while working through the worksheet. Consider that molecule there. Well, some people would look at it and they would say, oh, it is 2-ethyl pentane. Of course, those of you who are a little wiser would say, no, actually, the chain starts up the top with um, the ethyl group, so it's actually 6-methyl hexane. Well, here again is a little movie that hopefully shows how you can turn what looks like 2-ethyl pentane by rotation around carbon-carbon single bonds into the real 3-methyl hexane. So again, let me try and get the play button up. There we go. Turn it around. Rotate around that one bond. And there you are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with the 3-methyl on there. So silly little examples showing you how you can move from one conformation to another one, one appearance of a molecule to another appearance of the molecule simply by rotating around carbon-carbon single bonds.